Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 12th, 2020. So yesterday, we ended up getting a rare appearance of the bears, and they left behind some concerning price patterns in the chart. An even, uh, excuse me, a, a dark cloud cover here on the Dow, a bearish engulfing candle here on the spy the qqqs um, selling off showing a little bit of a topping pattern and breaking some support but what does that mean for the market for today well how about we settle in let's grab ourselves something to drink and let's prepare for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video so this morning guys we have a market that is looking to set a full-on overnight reversal pattern we had these concerning little sell-offs yesterday a little bit of a pop and drop um, we discussed the possibility of that yesterday and anytime we're pushing to new highs in the market we want to consider that possibility but let's take a look at some of the technicals here and see what we can glean from this. First off, our Dow is definitely in bullish mode and rallying. And we had um, an eight day rally underway and the bears just decided to make that appearance, breaking us back down below that high. And if you remember yesterday, I suggested the possibility that we need to be watching this resistance level in the chart right in here. And we ran up there, popped into that resistance level, and then turned around as if it were made of, it, it, you know, we're Superman and it were made of kryptonite. And just pulling back. But here's the thing, no technical damage was really created here. And I would tell you that with the S&P 500 so close to new record highs, I think it will be unlikely that the bulls will give up that the institutions will allow um, this to sell off hard so let's take a look here this morning we're looking at a gap up open a substantial gap up open as a matter of fact dow futures right at the moment are up 250 points what i think could be occurring here is they are going to punish anyone who had the audacity to get short yesterday with a gap up open and maybe even trigger a bit of a short squeeze forcing those folks who got short early to buy to cover and helping to push the s p 500 to new record highs so we'll watch this closely but i think there could be a little bit of a uh, squeeze going on here this morning with futures pushing so solidly higher. Um, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY had a bearish engulfing candle, but notice and remember, always keep it this in mind that when we get candle patterns like this, a candle pattern, particularly outside of a chart pattern. Now, if we had this candle pattern, say for example, the market had fallen rallied back and this candle pattern was showing up at a lower high now we've got a major problem this candle pattern showing up at a high like this requires a bearish follow-through and this morning we're not getting that the bulls are pushing solidly higher here that puts us very very close to that new record high um, in the S&P 500 and I just suspect they're gonna they're gonna utilize those folks who got short yesterday they're gonna punish them pretty hard and take the opportunity to push up here now I don't want to give you the impression that they're gonna do it all at once or do it all today as a matter of fact we could just rest right in here for a few days just kind of sliding sideways before we push on through to the upside. Remember, we'll st we're still waiting on Congress to get their act together to uh, come out with a new stimulus plan, which I think everyone expects is going to happen, but um, we could rest just a little bit, and that wouldn't be out of the question after such a strong upside move in the market. Little rest may be in order, but I also wouldn't rule out the possibility that they're going to push 
everything that they can into the market to tag that um, new record high. They want that inst uh, institutions are going to want that new headline because it helps draw additional money to the market. Let's take a look. So technically, we are still very, very bullish here. Even though we have a bearish engulfing candle, there's nothing in this chart that's really suggesting we're ready to break down just yet, so watch that closely. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ um, selling off. Now, there was some pressure in the NASDAQ, and we do have that selling wave here in the NASDAQ that is a little bit of, of a concern. However, let's notice trend. We did break this price support. That is a concern. This morning, it looks as if we're going to push back up, gap back up. So we may be finding some price support here right in the area of the trend. So not an uncommon pattern, as a matter of fact, when we've pushed back before and those bulls step in, that creates the next potential rally. So although we had that sell off and there's some, some concern there, and I do think there is a rotation beginning to happen or has already begun gun uh, out of some of these high flying tech sector stocks into other plays so um, watch that carefully remember nasdaq has made 32 33 new record highs this year so far so uh, a pullback in here um not necessarily a negative thing as a matter of fact it may be just coming back to a little bit of reality so um, this morning, QQQ gapping up. This could set up the next upside wave. It could also set up that possibility that we just rest or consolidate up here as we push on the other indexes and rotate maybe into other stocks. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM um, also ran into that price resistance that I marked on the chart yesterday. We ran up there poked her head into that resistance, didn't like the way it looked and pulled back, leaving behind nearly a bearish engulfing candle, certainly a dark cloud cover pattern, but once again, it requires follow through. And this morning, at least at this point, we're not getting that follow through. We're getting that push higher here this morning. So take a breath before you panic here in the charts right now holding up pretty well and i have to say that if we were to draw a trend up here any kind of rest or consolidation in here would not hurt this chart at all as long as we continue to hold these price support levels and i just find it very very difficult to believe at least at the moment being this close to a new record high in the spy that the bears are going to be able to really gain a whole lot of momentum even though we are very extended in the market um, and we want to be stay on our toes and watch for that selling wave or that profit taking wave to come in just keep in mind being this close it, it just seems unlikely that institutions aren't going to pull out all the stops to try and make that new record occur let's take a look at um, our vix our vix yesterday a little bit of back and forth we found that price support here in the vix we gapped down below as you can see pushed down but boy that was rejected yesterday as those sellers came in bringing in that little bit of fear now keep in mind we are still in this downtrend so nothing has really changed here yet just a little bit of back and forth and with the bullishness that we're seeing this morning i suspect we'll be right back down here in that fear if those bulls can maintain um, this morning's strength so watch that closely i don't think we're going to have a major problem here in the vix and and i say this all the time until we break that downtrend hold above here as support and then start seeing that fear coming in if we look at any wave um, here in fear it always begins the same way we break a downtrend, we hold it as support, and then the fear comes in. And we'll have to probably see that over here at this point. We had that opportunity right in here where we broke the downtrend, rallied above, but we have just not been able to maintain any of that um, here so far. So the bears just don't have much for teeth to gain some momentum. Now, I think that could change 
that could change after we make that new record high. We get that new record high out of the way in the S&P 500. The, bear, the bulls may back off a little bit. We may get more of a resting pullback in the market. But um, I just can't imagine them giving it up being this close to it. It's kind of like an electromagnet um, drawing on that. When we get that close to a new record, um, they kick on that magnet and it just kind of automatically draws us up there. So watch that close. Let's take a look at T2122. The four week new high new low ratio. Now this does tell us that we are pushed up into a bearish reversal zone. We're up here very, very high. And um, that possibility of a selling wave could occur at any time. But we'll wanna watch this close. If we can notch or get that new record high to occur in here, um, in the market, that's when we might see, um, you know, institutions back off a little bit and we pick up that bit of a selling wave. Let's watch this close. Of course, as we, anytime we are pushed up here in this bearish reversal zone, we have to be focused on that price action and flexible enough to realize that it could begin at any time. So even though I think it seems unlikely that we don't reach up there and get that new record high, Boy, we hit that new record high, get that headline, and anything is possible. We really could see those sellers come in, a little bit of profit-taking wave happen. So stay on your toes and stay focused on that price action because it could come in at any time. Let's take a look at T2101, and this is... Um, um, been rallying back up, which is nice to see. We're, we're finally seeing, um, as we rally in the market, we were finally seeing some um, breadth of the market increasing. Now, we do have a little bit of concern here. We have rallied right back into a resistance level in that chart. So we'll want to pay attention to that as we continue to push up here, that resistance area right in here. We want to actually break through that and hold. Um, watch that close. If, if we start seeing, um, you know, uh, that starting to diminish off, we could slip into a more of a resting consolidation here at these highs. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to pay attention to on it, particularly, whoops, doggone it, didn't want to pick up that window. As you can see here, um, we have the CPI report this morning. CPI is a big number that will certainly have the potential to move the market around. Not that it will, but it has the potential. We can see consensus is looking for a 0.3 in that um, CPI. So we we'll wanna watch that carefully. That is a little bit less than our prior um, um, reading. So watch that carefully. That can have an effect on the market. We could push um, as a result of that number. That happens obviously an hour before the market actually opens. So we could see a lot more volatility um, this morning um, in that market. Bulls and bears will be pushing around. Keep in mind we have a parade of Fed speakers today. Um, we'll want to pay attention to that. I doubt we learn anything more, but we'll want to watch that. We have the petroleum status report. Now, petroleum status will be very important for all of those oil sector stocks and could move them around significantly. If that comes in with a surprise build, could hurt those um, stocks that are beginning to show some rally. If it comes in at a decline, then that will support those prices and also help support the market to maybe push it on up for that new record so watch that pretty closely um, overall keep in mind thursday we we get those jobless claims again that's always a concern um, with those jobless claims we'll want to watch for that and on friday we have a massive day of data retail sales industrial production being those biggest numbers so we'll want to watch for that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that 
uh, subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you find these videos to be helpful, please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Now, I apologize again yesterday. I didn't get a chance to answer those comments. I try to. I should have some time today because I have to go to another doctor's appointment. I guess there's a doctor that needs a new boat here soon. Um, just as I'm dealing with this little health issue, it's no big deal, but um, I will um, have some time and, and maybe I can sit in the waiting room and answer some comments. So thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a, a look at some of these um, stocks that could be setting up. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, we do have a significant round of earnings today. And um, that's going to be important um, to mention here because we do have a few notables that do have um, market moving ability. One being um, Cisco. We'll want to pay attention to Cisco today um, in its report. And by the way, guys, um, if you look right below the title of um, this video, there is a link back to my blog. And the blog every morning, I list some of those notable stocks that um, could be um, market movers today. So if you want to get the full list of these, make sure you click on that link and um, go check out the blog. Um, they're all listed there. So Cisco is something we want to take a look at. Eat is another. Um, market mover that we'll want to keep uh, keep an eye on um, this morning um, as, as it reports. We're going to hear from Lyft. Um, Lyft will be uh, an apart report you might want to pay attention to um, and several others. So just keep that in mind. So with that, let's let's do take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. Remember, every time I post one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, you need to make your own uh, pricing decisions and due diligence on every trade um, that we look at. So let's take a look at a few of these. Um, Matt Masco, I mentioned Masco yesterday, and Masco continues to set up in this pattern. As you can see, we're running up in a trend, breaking through, nice little consolidation, kind of chopping sideways on that trend. Let's watch for that next opportunity for that to maybe perk up. Um, Take a look at Kimberly Clark. Now, yesterday, Kimberly Clark pulled back a little bit. This has been a very bullish chart. And this is one of those charts that could be that area where we're just um, pushing out of um, the all of the tech buying going on and rotating into some companies that are more dividend yielders will want to keep an eye on that if that is the case and they start coming in buying up some more safety plays in the market that rotation Kimberly Clark might be one to pay attention to um, uh, Colgate Palmolive um, as you can see breaking through this resistance consolidating that move we want to watch for bullishness to come up in here uh, CLX continues um, to be a chart that we want to keep an eye on. Yesterday, I got punished hard pulling back, but let's watch these support levels in here and see whether or not it can hold in that support area and that opportunity for that pullback to provide us the next opportunity in the trade. Watch that closely. I'm not sure that that big ugly candle isn't going to put this into a longer term consolidation, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on stocks like UPS. UPS stretching out here to the upside needs a rest or pullback and you can see left a little bit of a shooting star pattern here um, yesterday any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity but I would suggest we may have to wait for this trend to come back into play 
on that chart. Also keep um, FDX on your list as a possible. Once again, a little bit stretched in its move so far, so a rest or pullback would not be out of the question. Watch this in there if that moves sideways or pulls back into that trend for that next opportunity to move on higher. Uh, take a look at GLW. GLW Corning doing very, very well. Held up strong yesterday. This is another one of those kind of old boring companies. Here's one of the things that I like about this chart. Breaking the big long-term downtrend in this move is important. Now, I do suspect that this may have to do a little bit more backing and filling in here before it really takes off, but watch that closely. Uh, GLW could be moving up, and with so many mobile devices um, being sold this last quarter, GLW could do very well um, overall, so keep a close eye on that. Watching McDonald's closely here, McDonald's continues to work its way up. Although it has this, whoops, that's a two-day chart. Although it has a little bit of a um, news problem right now with a lawsuit and things like that of a, of a past CEO, as you can see, pushing up nicely here in this chart. So any rest or pullback after breaking through this resistance sets up an opportunity in that trade. Keep a close eye on McDonald's looking pretty good. I also think we need to be keeping a close eye on some of the financial stocks. We had a nice move up here yesterday, gap up and move up. It did pull back by the end of the day um, with the selling in the market but notice it's gapping right back up here this morning financial sector um, looking pretty good take a look at Goldman Sachs Goldman Sachs working its way back up in here JP Morgan um, looking pretty decent breaking this little downtrend really really strong in this move up any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity and maybe continues the trend higher uh, BAC has had a really nice uh, pattern in here breaking through some resistance as you can see holding up in a trend any rest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity for those financials to maybe move on higher last but not least I'm going to suggest we take a look at energy stocks. Energy stocks um, enjoyed a nice little move up yesterday, but ended up pulling back by the end of the day. So watch that closely. Stocks like ExxonMobil um, breaking through some resistance. Any rest or hold in here could set up an opportunity. And although coronavirus has certainly damaged these stocks uh, tremendously, I can't imagine um, that oil prices are not going to start creeping back up here in the near future. So watch those closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best. Be safe. Be careful. Remember, coronavirus is continuing to plague this country pretty heavily. Um, Florida had its biggest one-day death toll um, um, since this thing began so yesterday. So just be careful. Be safe, everyone. Um, we don't want to mess around with this virus. I want to see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Y'all take care. Be safe. We'll see you Thursday morning bright and early.